豊昇龍能楽師の能パフォーマーの家に生まれましたので子どもの頃から４歳の頃からずっと能楽の道に進むことがですね大体決まってました子どもからずっとやってそして大人になるまでトレーニングです明智討という曲目を題材にして新たに将軍の中に作りました。この将軍にお見せしていた時に将軍からですね能面や能装束を頂いてその能面能装束を大切に今でも扱っております。皆さんそうおっしゃってるんですけど生きててこんなあの経験をさせていただくことになるとはやっぱりなかなか思わないでいたのでびっくりしてます。It was important to bring no theater into Shogun mostly because it had never been brought to my knowledge to Western cinema before. We brought performers from Japan, experts from Japan, but mostly we, we did it all because we knew If we put all that work into that very fine point,、uh, that it would feel sharp enough to an audience that felt real. You, you can present the clothing of that time, the language of that time, but to not include the ways in which they enjoyed themselves, it would be selling us a little short because culture is not just a couple of slices of things. You know, we wanted to show the whole thing. No theater is one of the oldest and most respected Japanese traditional theatrical art form. I am the head of the Kado no Isa. I am the head of the Kado no Isa. 上演される能の部分の,あの落ち葉役の,あの指導とあと装束付けをあのしに参りました趣味の一つとして習っていたけれどもあの興味を持ってそのまま大学で能楽を学んで大学卒業後に能楽師になりました約600年ほどはもうほぼ男性だけであの上演されていたんですけれどもあのここ最近、まあ、60年ぐらい前から女性も舞台に立つようになりまして。早かしっていう能面です。能面をつけるときには、敬意を表して、一礼を。You know, Rachel and I watched the first cut of that episode and we looked at each other and we said, I can't believe we're part of producing this.、And、you realize no one can fake that. No one can fake that level of detail to their movement itself. That's not, you know, something that can be replicated. It's not something that can be mimicked. It, it just is. And you feel it when you see them perform, you understand how special it is. It really just felt like something where you could see the hearts and souls of everyone who participated. 